And we begin this morning with the latest on those devastating California wildfires. The death toll has risen to at least 71 in Northern California's campfire. About 1,000 people are reported missing. That blaze, the worst in California's history, is now 50% contained after consuming more than 145,000 acres. Just outside of Los Angeles, the Woolsey Fire is 78% contained after burning 98,000 acres. Now communities are faced with a new and very dangerous threat. Dense smoke from those fires is smothering parts of the state with what has been described as the dirtiest air in the world. Meg Oliver's in Paradise, California, most of which has been leveled by the campfire last week. Meg, good morning. Adriana, good morning. I'm standing in the middle of that aftermath. This used to be a restaurant. You can see that kitchen sink behind me. I landed in Sacramento just a few hours ago. That's about an hour and a half from here. And as soon as the doors open, you could taste and feel the thick smoke even that far away. President Trump is expected to visit Northern California later today. But as communities begin to assess this damage, the worsening air quality is imposing severe health risks. In paradise, a community destroyed by flames is pledging to rise from the ashes. It's going to be a tough rebuild, but I know the town will come together and we'll be able to put paradise back the way it was. It won't be easy. The campfire has burned more than 12,000 structures to the ground as it blazes across Northern California. And the death toll is rising as authorities rush to sift through the debris. An additional eight human remains were recovered during our search efforts today. Now, the winds that fueled the fire spread are pushing thick smoke across the region, rendering the air virtually unbreathable in neighboring cities. It's horrible. It's so thick and you can smell the smoke and you can see it. I'm born and raised in Sacramento. This is the worst air we've had ever. People wore masks as hazardous smoke levels blanketed the Sacramento Valley yesterday, posing health risks from burning eyes to chronic heart and lung diseases. Doctors say breathing it in is the equivalent of smoking up to 10 cigarettes a day. I got kind of nauseated last night walking out in it, you know, so tonight I have on a mask. In San Francisco, the Bay Bridge was almost completely obscured by the haze. And in Berkeley, today's Stanford Cal football game was postponed to protect athletes from the severe conditions. And the problems won't go away for the more than 47,000 evacuees from the campfire. Dozens of people are sick after multiple norovirus outbreaks at Red Cross shelters across the area. Michelle, just one more challenge as these people try to move forward. A lot of challenges for them. Thank you, Meg Oliver. Stay safe in Paradise, California.